All right, welcome back to another YouTube video. And this time I'm standing in front of our brand new 2024 Hybrid 481. Now, I wanna give you a little tip. You've probably heard me in the videos talk about 601, 401, all these numbers. What they mean, 4.8 meters long, one bed in it. If this was a single bed van, it'd be a two. If it was a family van, it'll have a three in it because it's got three beds. So straight away, when you hear me quote numbers, you know the first two digits of the length, the last number refers to the layout. So nice, simple, easy system. So we're in front of the new hybrid, 481. And as we look down the side, let's check out, obviously our new black catches, a, a new clean look for the year. Uh, I can see the gray water tank poking out the side here. We make it nice and easy right to the edge of the van. Your rock rails, your brand new wheels. Love these new wheels, the new highlights. We designed this about a year ago. It's taken a little while to come to production, but it's Cameron CRV's own wheel. And uh, I reckon in the natural light there, you can see the red glitter in there. It just really looks smart. Obviously an off-roader wouldn't be an off-roader without having a 16 inch uh, wheel as well. And then a trailing arm independent suspension under there. So, uh, and of course, if you're going off-road, you want lithium batteries. We've got a large 240 amp hour lithium battery tucked away in here. So you've got plenty of storage for the two by 185 watt solars up on the roof. We've even changed the design up there so we can fit a third one up there if you want as well. Coming up slightly further forward, we've got our new fast fuel system. So you can see the D for direct, tank one, tank two. Obviously the hybrid only fits the two tanks, so there is no tank three. But you simply click the hose on and you're gonna fast fill your tanks. You can then go back to your direct fitting and then have your mains pressure water at your campsite. So very nice, very neat little system there. Also on the side of the van, we still haven't forgotten, just in case you've got your jerry cans. We've got the jerry can holders on the van. It could be an extra 20 litres you want to just naturally pour into the van. It'll allow you to do that. We've got our external shower here as well. We've got the new Truma AquaGo. This is the store, uh, sorry, it's an instantaneous system, but it actually stores uh, a chamber of hot water. So when you turn the tap on, you get your hot water a lot quicker and then instantaneously flows it. So really great feedback from that. Uh, of course, Colin, our manager in Albany, did all the testing uh, on that in the bush as well. You can see we've all got the uh, lights all the way around the van. As we come around the back, I might have made it a bit tricky to see the uh, the new reversing camera because we're looking up into the spotlight, but it's the dual one. So one camera's looking down, one's looking out the back. As you can see on the back of the van, we've got the jerry can holders, we've got the new lights. See how we've brought the lights out to the bumper bar? This allows us to put two by 16 inch wheels and still give the safety of the 45 degree viewing angle of those lights. So a lot of little attention to detail, number plate, holder right the way out the back so again everything's all to do with safety regulation compliance as we bend down we can see the uh, recovery points hopefully you're pulling a friend out of the mud and that you're not the one getting pulled out of the mud uh, our water tank guard that's our gray water tank everything nice and neat you can see the trailing arm suspension the dual shocks uh, and everything under the van which of course you'd expect on an off-road hybrid as we come around the door side Craig I might slip forward to allow you to come through while we talk about strength and off-road, I might dive straight into the composite built. And when you look at the wall panel, doesn't matter where you hit the side of the van, it's solid because you can see the layer of fiberglass, the sandwich panel, and the inside has got the same thickness on an aluminium frame. It means if we look at the roof like that, I can walk on it anywhere up there. It makes it easy to uh, clean as well because it's a nice smooth finish. But of course, it then makes it hail resistant too. So insurance companies love that as well. Sitting on a 50 millimeter floor with your black composite underneath. So um, nice, sturdy unit. While we're looking at the picnic table here, let me flick the switch on. There we go. Nothing like being pre-prepared. There we go. Strip lights. I haven't actually turned the switch on on the inside, so we'll skip that one, but I have got a nice little light here and it shows we are human. We do do, we do, do our videos in one take. We're not doing any cover up. Whatever pops into my head normally comes out of my mouth. So if you're a first time watcher of our YouTube videos, make sure you like and subscribe because I do a little stuff up every now and then, but uh, that's, uh, that's all part of it. But I'll also show you our whiteboard marker. I love our map, love the whiteboard, being able to write your destinations. You can mark the 
roads where you've been. To me, it's a talking point around the campsite. Also here, we've got our USB plugs, our TV plugs, so you can bring the TV outside. 240, so you can put a cooker out here as well if you want to, if you're cooking the crabs and the smell outside. Haven't got the awning rolled out at the moment, but you roll out awning, your double glazed windows, your, your uh, lights all the way around the van. And of course, what would a hybrid be? if it didn't have the kitchen, let me just quickly show off the amber light. So if you're in the bush, the mozzies are around, you can change your light from white to amber. If I slide the kitchen out now, love these Swift cookers. They're just such a practical unit. You've got your sink, you've got your bench top. But what I really like about them is the fact it's got your analog display, so it'll give you your temp, just like the Weber wheel, so you can use it for roasting. You can pop your veggies, your meat in here, use it as an oven. You can barbecue in it, you can shallow fry in it, you can pour some oil in there. And of course, if you lift it out, you've got a two gas burner, so you can use it for boiling the crabs, all the smelly things you want to do outside of the van. And a nice, simple unit to slide back in. Lock it away. You can turn your tunnel boot light off. And it's just such a simple unit. We've got the gas bayonet here, we've got the hot and cold connections under the van here as well. So uh, all very nice and neat. The fridge area. Now you can choose to put the fridge in here or you can put it in the car like I like to do. And then I put all my condiments here for all my cooking. So you've got a nice slide out tray. You can have all your oils, your paper towels, uh, everything you need for the barbie basically outside here. Inside here, we have got a 12 volt plug as well. So it does allow you to uh, pot a, a fridge in here, or it could be just an extra light or an accessory you want there on the side of the van. We've got our new side hinging door rather than bottom dropping, as well as a whale tail lock. So that shuts and, sh shuts and seals nicely. Try and say that one fast, but anyway, uh, that's all there. Come around the front of the van, Craig. I've done it again. I think you'll see in one of my other videos. It does come with two gas bottles. It's only got one in there at the moment. We've obviously got a shortage of gas bottles. Have a look at that. The Max Tracks bolt through. See the cup head bolt with the wing nut on the inside. So it's actually locked inside the boot. Can't be stolen on you. Um, a nice little feature on the hybrid. Got the new stone guards, the trailer make jack on the front of the van to make it nice and simple. You've got your Anderson plug. Uh, which will mean you can put uh, an extra 200 watts of solar blankets out here to charge the van too if you want to. You've got your new waterproof covers we're putting on the Anderson plugs as well. Your DO35, so just a nice, neat, I've got a, a, a what do you call it, mains pressure water tap there to the A-frame as well. As you can see, those lights are super bright and all the way around the van. So we might go inside. So it's not quite the same as our other videos where you might have seen our Series 2 walkthroughs, but it's got a lot of the new features uh, that they have got as well. Again, quickly touched, crim safe mesh, love it. Midgy mesh going to seal nicely, no bugs are going to come through. So easy to lock, you just pull it in that few more millimetre and it's just no chance of bugs or dust getting through. As well as lots of airflow at night, if you happen to be in a warm area where you want to leave the door open. We've got our new CRV branding in the step as we come inside. Actually, while you're standing there at the door, Craig, let me pull the pantry out. Look at this, so imagine you're outside, you might have the olive oil, some paper towels, uh, some drinks here you wanna get from the outside, having it so simple. But if you lift the camera up, it's also a bench extension. So if you're working here at the, uh, the sink, it will allow you to um, give you some extra bench space. Obviously your stove uh, comes away, let me turn. There we go, turn the lights on. We've got no shortage of lights and lighting around the area. You've got a four burner or three burner uh, and one electric. So if you're in your caravan park, a grill with your microwave. Again, good use of draw space, plenty of storage space. One of our little features, just have a look in here. This is your two water tanks. So we've got tank one, tank two. You can see I've turned tank one off 
and we're drawing off tank two. So as your water supply goes down, you can swap them over and go from tank two to tank one. So um, yeah, just a quick, easy swap, particularly if you happen to be at the sink uh, using it. Look at that, I've got my props in there from the show. I, I'm very unorganized on this walkthrough, but <laughs> as you can imagine, it's the third one of the day. So <laughs> I am for, forgetting a few little things. Um, but yeah, so that's a quick, easily uh, isolator switch over for your sink. Now, spin around, I might actually step back down the step here for a sec. I just wanna show you the red arc. So, straight away, I can turn radios on. I can, there we are, that's the safety step I didn't turn on. I can turn radios off. I can turn water pumps on off. I can see my water tanks are empty at the moment. My gray water tank's empty. At this rate of discharge, obviously I've lit it all up for the video, the battery's at 74% and I've got 12 hours worth of use. At the moment I am inside the shed, so there'll be no solar charge coming in. And it tells me how many amps I'm using. I can look at it in a graph. I can see my state of charge is slowly dropping as I've been doing the videos with all the lights on. If I put it outside, I know the system's gonna charge me all back up again. So uh, just so simple, having all the stats there takes the guesswork out of the use. Obviously we've got the air conditioner remote. It is the latest uh, Dometic air conditioner. Uh, in the vans, as we stand here at the fridge, the 150 litre compressor Thedford unit. Again, being a compressor fridge, it's gonna be more efficient. We've got the battery power, we've got the solar power to use it. Um, plenty of cupboard space. For a little 4.8 metre van, it has got massive, massive cupboard spaces. So very neat, very tidy. Even the little void. <laughs> I knew I should have done some prep. Look at this. This is where we like you to pack the uh, TV <laughs> on the bed for travel. You can see we've safely tucked it up in the rugs, but it simply comes in, fits in this little void around the corner. And this is what I like about the 481. We've got the little bench space here. Now we've got the void for the TV uh, and it just fits nicely in there. And while I'm talking about the bed and the bed's unmade, we can see the bolster. So we've got a 1.7 meter bed with a 200 mil bolster. So that's gonna make it 1.9 meters long. For someone like me, I can actually go to a 300 mil bolster, making it two meters long. So plenty of space for uh, Camerons and the, the rest of the normal people. Can you tell I don't make too many beds? That's looking a bit rough in it, Craig, but it's, uh, it's, it's getting there. Let's turn some more lights on. So as you can see, touch lights, reading lights, it's getting a little warm in the van, Craig. I might actually uh, turn the Max fan on. So if I turn the fan on, it's grabbing the outside air now that might be a bit cooler. If I just crank that up to 100, It'll give you some idea of the volume of air that it's bringing in. So straight away, it's cooling the van down. Customers talk about, oh, can I have max fans? Yes, we can fit them, but a max fan just moves the warm air in the van. This is grabbing the cooler air from outside, dragging it in, or I can hit the reverse button. As you can see, the fan's gonna stop. Now spin the other way. So imagine that volume of air now getting sucked up. So to me, max fan over Sirocco fan any day. And if I want to slow it down, I might let that run like that. So it'll keep it nice and cool in here. And it's got a rain sensor on it that will turn itself away. Has a neat little spot to clip right there. Now, the wardrobes are a bit narrower because I've actually taken the hybrid 100 millimetres narrower than the old model. Still got space around the bed, still got the space, kitchen, it all works. But now being 100 mils narrower, to me, it's just going to fit nicer behind the four wheel drive. While we're talking about the wardrobes, removable shelves. So all of a sudden it can be hanging, it can be removable shelves. We've still got our surface chargers for our phones, uh, our USB plugs that we'll plug in, plenty of storage options, plenty of lockers, plenty of spots for the phone. Uh, as I say, the double glazed windows, the fusion radio system, uh, the van's got the lot. If we look from back there, Craig, let me just show off the table on how many different angles it will go to. So depending on where you want it, in, out, out of the way, back, look at the width in the corridor. So it just gives you options to sit at the table, play cards, bring it to here. Someone could be sitting on the bed, using it for a coffee or drinks inside the van. So just a very clever system of getting that out the way, 
12 volt uh, USB plugs as well as two 40 volt plugs there on the end of the bed as well. Now, one of our new features, our new black frame. So you've seen, obviously, the chrome's gone. We've gone to some black catches. To me, it's just the modern look at the moment, and it does look smart. The new Perspex, we've gone to a gloss finish. We've listened to our customers. Oh, they're out. Latch, so you can latch it for safety as well. Uh, is that gloss panel will be easier to clean. Now, have a look at this. So we're in a, uh, what is it, 15 foot 9, I think, in the old language, 4.8 metres. Look at the space it has in here and see with a curtain that closes it off so all your toilets your towel your toiletries all behind there are going to stay dry but pop that out of the road you've still got your shower here your vanity basin your mirror uh, and your toilet and look even I, my two meter frame I can touch my toes and I'm not hitting the wall or my head. So amazing for a little van how much space this has. So uh, as you can see, the new CRV hybrid, not quite calling it the Series 2, but it is a nice van, plenty of bench space, plenty of features. Uh, make sure you come to Cameron's, the new concealed catches. You know, but there's so many new things. I knew I'd forget half of them, but uh, I'm sure if you want to call in the Camerons, you might have picked up the sold sticker. This one has sold and will be delivered. I think we've got it for a month. So make sure you get into Cameron Caravans and check it out before it goes. Otherwise, make sure you like and subscribe. Lots more videos, a lot more new releases to come. I promise you I'll uh, try and be a bit more active with my YouTube videos and get more content out there for you. See you all next time.